buy a big urn here. I'm gonna be making a seat for the wife. She's complaining about this one, so we're gonna have to uh, deconstruct and reconstruct or a better one. I'm gonna try to make it just exactly how I did mine. I uh, used one of these eBay deals here. You can see I cut it all out and then refit it in there. On mine, I try to make it as low as possible and to the rear as possible. That way I can fit in there pretty nice and I really like it. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Gotta dismantle this. I'm gonna try and do this as easy as possible, you know, cause you know, I'm lazy. And just uh, keep this in the original spots here. And then I'm um, gonna take this off dismantle that with the springs here so she has some spring action like I do it's a nice comfortable ride there so I'm gonna put that there and then after I get all that figured out I'm gonna reupholster a seat just like that one back there that goes on top here and then I make her some handles and then she wants a um, full harness so that's what we're gonna be doing today and tomorrow, hopefully I don't get distracted. <laughs> On that side, you can see where I cut out something like that, but I didn't actually all the way need it. So I'm not gonna do that here on this one. So I'm gonna do try the least amount of work that I could possibly do. <laughs> I took off the door and the back curtain that door's still on there, but yeah. Oh well, yes, yeah, so people are commenting on this. How did I do that? I just got a piece of uh, scrap and bought this off Amazon and did a little paint job on it. And then I threw a couple of tack welds on some um, on this metal, and then I welded a handlebar that I found in my junk pile on the other side of the house uh, from one of my kids' bikes. So a handlebar that goes in between here, and then these are, this is a bike mount. So I basically just made this thing in here. And if I ever put the window down, when I put the window down, I just make a little move on that thing and it just goes like that. So I can still read it, still functional. So anyhow, thank you for whoever commented on that. That's, a, that's one of my little Hidden Easter eggs, I guess, on this on this Jeep. <laughs> My hula girl, she's cool. Um, what else? Oh yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I got an amp here. I gotta watch out for when I'm doing my cutting. I'm gonna do some cutting down on this side. Uh, I got an amp on a radio here with the switch, and the wires come down into there, come up to here, to my speaker. I have some uh, cool army sounds on there and some parade music and stuff that I use. So that's what I use that for. But I like it and it still works. You can't get any more. A lot of people ask me, where is it? What is it? And where does it come from? And la di da. But I keep telling them it's, it's horn tones. Can you see that? Horntones.com. But I think they're out of business because I was trying to get one for Bob Away and there's nothing there. <laughs> so when that thing dies, I'm gonna have to figure something out. Maybe a, I don't know, some sort of Bluetooth iPhone thing or something, I don't know. But that thing's cool, you just push the buttons and it starts blasting off music and stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, um, I think I need more coffee, but we're gonna get going here. Gonna dismantle this stuff. Let's get busy. <laughs> Cut out my seat pan here. You can see where my gas tank was leaking right down the trail. Wife was complaining. We ended up uh, hitting a Napa. 
<laughs> got some of that Permatex uh, sealer, aviation sealer. It kind of like uh, paints on. Oh, I had the gas with the baby wipe and I was trying to soak it up as we were driving there and she was not having it. <laughs> but uh, I ended up pouring that stuff all up on there. Kind of petrified the baby wipe on there. So that's part of our vehicle now. <laughs> But ignore that. When the seat's on, you don't see it, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, so I just cut that piece out. I think I made this. I made this seat pan here. Yeah. We'll save that for another one. Yep. So I'm gonna cut up this one now. Don't cringe too bad. And cut that up and weld it right up in there. Lickety split. <laughs> separated that literally took me like four minutes and I guess I probably should have measured oh well we'll figure it out we're gonna keep this piece that's our floor piece I tried to try to copy that on, on the driver's side but uh, it didn't come out the same <laughs> I'm not a, a poster I'm kind of a get her done kind of guy so anyhow we're gonna keep that um, the cushion for sure I got some more of this cloth canvas so we'll put we'll make another one exactly like it and so they both match let's see how this works but I measured 18 across so. oh yeah that's money Money, 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 money. That's gonna go right perfectly. I'll weld that right up in there. Whoever had this previously has this one by one, so I'm gonna make us a cut here and cut this out. So that way this can go as far back as possible. Yeah. All right, that's going to be easier than I thought. Yeah, some of you probably run those. Um, the whole seat, I got them in uh, Bob Away there. They're good, but uh, I need this. For some reason, this puts me up against the, the windshield. So, um, with that backing. So, the thin back makes it look uh, original. And it keeps me further back because I'm kind of a tall guy. So that's why I'm just going to keep these. Plus it makes it look original. And I'm probably going to do the same thing to Bob Boy here as soon as we start working on that. Um, yeah, I'm going to weld this in here. going to figure out some uh, handles so she can grab onto. Right now she's flopping around. All I see is pigtails in here, so... Uh, especially with that last trail, man, <laughs> didn't expect that. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's going to be an easy trail. We just go up the, you know, Pilot Rock and have a good time. She said, okay, that sounds great. And then I told her, we'll go have lunch at Lake Arrowhead. But no, it didn't, it didn't happen that way. <laughs> but uh, all right, we'll keep rocking on here. We got some issues <laughs> so 
I was I was just gonna weld it in just like that and be done with it. I guess I probably still could and use that pad. But uh, just now I'm gonna cover the whole thing. It's gonna look all kind of kind of weird, you know. So I took the vinyl off of this and you can see how the hoop fits right up in there and with these it's not allowing this thing to sit down there properly so then I took a quick look over here and it looks like I cut these out cut them out and then just laid this bar in there so I gotta make the decision if that's what I'm gonna do here so I made my marks here I gotta find a bar somewhere to weld from here to there and then this thing will sit on top of it the front part there I weld that back in and then lop these sides off Yep. Just got a little bit more fancy. <laughs> supposed to just be a wham bam thank you ma'am and now it's going to turn into freaking boy cutting in shop around here. <laughs> All right, well let's get to it. <laughs> So this is where we're at right now. Been staring at it for a few minutes. The back end looks good. You can see the back end. I haven't welded it down yet. But I'm gonna make that the same as this. So that's not a big deal. Uh, the front end looks kind of goofy. Uh, I don't know about that. So, I mean, this did good that it uh, kept me in the right uh, plane there. But, um, I don't know. I guess I could leave it, but I'm not. What I'm going to do is just put two little legs right here on each side and then cut that off so it's nice and rounded. That way our cushion will fit on there just perfectly right. I'll make some little cuts back there. Well, I guess it doesn't really even, you can't really even see it there. Hmm. this one on mm. man okay so I'm staring at it some more <laughs> I might have to go down huh <laughs> okay well this is the process so this has to go down some. Cool. This is where we're at right now. Took out those front pieces there. We're just gonna go without it. Gonna weld this into the back. This, uh, my amp's like the perfect um, spacer there, but that's the other issue is the amp. Um, we're probably gonna move it. I was gonna move it under here but it gets hot there and I don't want to burn out the amp. So there's no, not much airflow under there. So what I think I'm gonna do is put this amp under here. I thought I welded, I usually weld it, see that? I did weld it, I don't know what happened. I might have cut it off to do something. I forgot to weld it again. 
that noise right there, I've been listening to that for a couple years now. <laughs> now I know what it was. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to redo this thing right into here. At first, I was like, man, they don't get any air in there either. But did you know on Willie's Jeeps, there's an air vent right there? Pretty freaking cool. I didn't know that. Underneath here, I didn't know they did that. So I like that. So let's get some air. It's got a hole here, so it's got some more air than this would get. Cause that gets hot right there coming from the from the engine. And this is gonna be a lot easier. It'll just go in there. This is the right length. I don't have to rewire and redo. Get underneath there and weld. It's gonna zip, zip, zip. It was on here. I welded these bolts onto there. You can see I had them on there with these rubber pieces, insulators. So I'm just going to do that same thing right there. See if it works. <laughs> the next day. Well, it's the next day. Dang rain put a number on us. The weather app says it's supposed to stop right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just start getting busy here. Dang horn kind of slowed us down. It broke my heart. <laughs> So this is what we got. Got this cut down to where I need to do. We just gotta carry on with that. But before we get to that, I had to move the amplifier. And that was kind of a, a biznitch to get that down into there. Uh, I did not know that we had air coming in here because I was worried it was gonna be hot in there, but it's got air in there. And there's another one on this side. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. Those are two things of Willie's trivia that I didn't know about. <laughs> He's got two little air holes back there. And whoever previously owned it already had a hole back here, so we brought our wires in through that. So that was an easy move over to here. Problem is my RCA jacks. And one of them broke off. And man, that made me cry. Yeah, you can see it right here. Well, we're going to try to fix that. And hopefully today, I'll get my supreme horn going again. There we go. There's the sun. Weather app was right on. Excelente. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go on. Keep messing with this. This is breaking my heart because I really like that horn. But uh, we'll keep plugging away, see what happens. And then we'll finish the seat. <laughs> All right, a little bit of soldering action going on. Fixed our little terminal back there. And he's happy. Put on the thing. Let my horn tones power up. And we hit the button. Oops, oh, my neighbors love me. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey, you! <laughs> oh, I love that horn. <laughs> seat out gonna weld underneath got it to exactly where I want it to go made some changes here everything's looking pretty good so far the rain stayed away thank goodness allowed me to finish my little project here that was supposed to be a one day maybe two day or but it's gonna go into next weekend <laughs> All right, gonna keep on keeping on. One week later. Gotta put it together. 
see how she goes. Came out all right. Sewed this onto there, double stitched it, hemmed it in. Tie it up onto there, should be good. What we gotta do today, we're on our fourth day here. These little things, you know, little knickknacks here and there that all adds up. What I wanna do today is put in a center council. That'll cover this whole area. And then I wanna mount this radio here. Cause in Colorado, this is a biggie and we never have a place for it and it's bouncing all around in here so i'm gonna put a little mount right there somewhere right there not sure what i'm gonna do yet but something like that um so yeah and then i gotta put handles here i marked handles for her on that side i had her sit in here last night <laughs> in the dark <laughs> Uh, cool Saturday night, cool deal in here. Come over here and sit down in the Jeep. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, gonna put some handles on. Gonna do a center council, gonna mount that radio. And then if we have time, um, I need to put some rock lights on here. But I think that's gonna be next weekend. Because this is already, these little knickknacks here, they take a lot of time. Not hard, but just, you know, time consuming and a lot of Rodney Dangerfield going on. And, you know, little things like that. But yeah, I got her harness put in that she wanted. She likes it, so. A nice harness. I'm gonna stick with my lap belt for now. Um, you can see where I, I welded in a bar to connect them. I did the same thing for my side, just in case I changed my mind and I start wanting to put a lap belt or a harness on, I got the things there. So I'll just do the old switcheroni real quick if I need to. But uh, I was gonna put a bar across there. I see a lot of people doing that and they hook these bolted up to the bar, to the cage or to the roll bar. But to me, I just didn't wanna do that. So I just kept it like that. It looks a little bit, you know, I don't know, a little bit less, I should say. Yeah, that's kind of what I like. Less is more to me. Plus we're doing three miles an hour. If we roll on three miles an hour, this is good enough right here. This is just to keep her in the vehicle while we're driving down the trail. <laughs> Anyhow, we're gonna keep plugging on. All right, I said that came out pretty good. It's tucked in there, looks pretty good. That's a brand new cushion. That's a worn out one. <laughs> Sweet. I'm gonna work on these handles next. They gotta come up here like that. Hmm. I was gonna go off the, yeah, I think I still will. I'll go off this seat frame. I don't want to pull out the bender because that's a pain in the butt. But uh, I might just do it. Somehow I got to figure out what kind of metal I got laying around. All right, here we go. So I got some flat bar here. You can see where I put my lines last night. That's where she needs to be at, like right here. So I got some flat bar, two inch. Made my line already. I'm gonna probably attach it right there to the seat frame. I got some pretty good pipe here. Pretty heavy. I don't need this heavy, but we're gonna weld it in there like that. Maybe put it at an angle. 
But yeah, we're going to cut it off right above that seat and make us a little handle like that. And same the other side. I'll cut it down here. So she'll have a handle. Hold on, dude. <laughs> the pile of rocks. She was bouncing all over the place. She says, hey, that's it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we need to make these changes because this year we're doing pretty good. Uh, signed up for the 4x4 Winter Jamboree in San Hollow, which is in two weeks. Yeah, we got to make this a little bit more because we're going to go pretty good jeeping this year. Got another trip planned for the Easter Jeep Safari in Moab, um, the end of March. So hopefully I see some of you guys there. We need to hook up because I'm going solo. Some people to hang with. <laughs> so contact me. I'm on Facebook, Ernie Pineda 2. Um, so yeah, so um, got some good trips planned. Um, going to do Calico probably this weekend. I got um, probably when you guys are seeing this, it'll probably be at Calico. And then what else we got? Oh yeah, we got King of the Hammers coming up in three weeks. We're going to be going to that. So but yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming up. So, uh, you know, you guys want to come out, hit me up on Facebook. <laughs>
put them in there. That thing's hot. More gussets. This thing's still kind of hot. Yeah. Pretty solid chair right now. I didn't know how this was gonna come out. My backyard bend here, but it's good. No sharp points. I guess I could get it better if I brought up some sandpaper, but we ain't going that far. No, sir! Very cool. Yeah, I don't know how good it's gonna look. I think it'll look all right. Definitely functional. She's gonna be very happy. Hopefully it cuts down on the screaming. <laughs> She can hang on for dear life now with a harness on. So yeah, doing a three mile an hour fury. Should be good to go. I'm gonna throw some paint on there now. Just a little, sh sh sh. put that thing back in. Put back on the back cushion. We got like two hours of sun left. Ah. Nothing like a hot cup of coffee on a cold January day. All right. End of the day, losing the sunshine. Got our seat all done up. We got our harness in. Got a new cushion. Took out this old seat pan. Hard as a rock. That's cool though. She stuck it out. She's hardcore. What doesn't kill you only makes you harder. <laughs> Raw. Ah! <laughs> so I got her in some nice seat. Got her harness in. I got some, uh, some handles here so she can hold on. Put a bunch of gussets around there to make it strong. The paint's a little wet so I'm not touching it. Gussets, gussets all the way around. Really strong. Very happy with that. Thanks for watching.